In one fairy tale world where there were no wars and all electric unicycles had a good torque and convenient power pads, there lived two twin brothers from the King Song clan and the S22 family, whose names were Ketchup and Mustard. And although they looked like two drops of water similar to each other, in fact, they had two opposite characters. Baby girl love my bop and unlike me too. No roof on my top and my babe see through. Hating on the pen don't stop, shit ain't gon' feed you. I've been all on my grind, so why I need you? Mustard was a city teddy boy. He adored imposing rides along ideal asphalt paths but also did not disdain to call on the cobbled pavement to admire the landscapes of the old town. In order to get the maximum pleasure from the ride, he used a number of tricks. The first update was the road tire. He noticed it at a young age. It gave a better roll, greater dynamics, and certainly improved handling on all types of hard surfaces. To reduce the overall load on all components, a softer suspension spring was used, which made it possible to float over any bumps in the road simply without feeling it. Last but not least was changing the center of gravity by placing the motor and pedal position settings to their lowest setting. The main headache for Mustard was power pads. The original ones that he inherited had a red base and were too wide, which did not fit into his Teddy Boy style. Mustard spent many sleepless nights trying to fit the original power pads onto his final outfit, but in the end, he was forced to give up, and after accepting and realizing this decision, life sparked with new colors. Mustard flew like the wind, and there was no one like him in the city. He was the king of the road. Brother Ketchup was the exact opposite of Mustard. He did not look for easy and smooth paths. They made him bored. Energy seethed in him. Increased volts and a thirst for adventure made him find the most incredible paths push his boundaries, and show with his rebellious character that it is too early to write off their kind from aggressive daredevils who can climb any mountain and effortlessly descend from it. Malicious Tongue said that King Song is an overhype, that King Song is a plush unicycle for those who do not understand, but Master from the Bigode Clan is the dominant race but we'll probably leave the arguments to armchair travelers, but rather talk about how Ketchup was able to achieve such a result. Unlike his brother, Ketchup's priority was off-road traction in dust, gravel, and mud. So the off-road tire that he inherited was more than fine for him. It was powerful and aggressive, delivering both excellent off-road performance and extra dampening softness thanks to the thick rubber teeth. Often at night, Ketchup had nightmares, in which he over and over clung to the roots of trees or protruding stones with the pedal. So his suspension, like the pedals, was always raised to the maximum height. Ketchup had no illusions about the power pads. He immediately abandoned his own. Since the design did not bother him much, and installed alternative ones, which not only helped to accelerate and brake effectively, but also additionally fixed the foot on the pedal, which helped a lot when the wheel was off the ground. An alternative shock absorber, though not a necessity, at the same time added an extra edge to the ketchup style and allowed to squeeze all the juice out of its capabilities. Competing off-road with his school friends who were not lucky enough to have their own suspension, he felt like the best of the best and had no one like him in the forest 
or in the mountains. Each of us strives for excellence, achieving more and more new goals. So the brothers were no exception. Despite the fact that there were no one like them on asphalt or off-road, they still felt a certain inferiority. Brother Mustard complained all the time that his acceleration was not as strong as that of high-torque wheels, and he was too lazy and dull. Then his brother came to his aid, reminding him that he needs to think about the future and next generations, that he could always reconfigure the acceleration in such a way so that it will be breathtaking at the start. But by doing so, he will go over to the dark side of unreliable clans that cannot be counted on and trusted. And Brother Ketchup waking up in a cold sweat dreamed that the creator would reward him with narrower petals so that he would never again cling them to stones or tree roots. All of us are not perfect, and the heroes of our story too. And who is closer to you? Ketchup? Mustard? Or are you on the dark side? Like, subscribe. We only make high-quality content.